welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we are going to be taking a look at some new balances that were made in the USA for a collab done with DTLR. And this shoe has been dubbed the Discover and Celebrate. So let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you are new here today, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we have so much heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on, as well as be sure to check out those membership tiers. We've got some great perks on there that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. Those of you wondering when you see comments and there's a little shade limit sign, that is part of one of our perks. So head on over there, check those out, as well as our shade store. We got some great shade gear on there so if you're looking to rock and represent shade tv we've got everything from hoodies to tees to socks you name it even masks that's right so if you want to add to your collection of clothes with some of our shade gear be sure to head over there as well and uh, let's get into this as mentioned earlier we are going to be talking about an amazing collab that i think was slept on, not as anticipated, and that is why you're gonna wanna stick out around to see how much these are reselling for, which is pretty insane. Uh, but we are gonna start off talking about the New Balance a 992 collab with DTLR for the Discover and Celebrate shoe and uh, talk about how amazing this color scheme is. Then we're gonna jump into size and fit followed by some styling. I had so much fun styling these shoes. I am obsessed with the color combinations that they went with on this one. Uh, and then again, we're gonna talk about how baller these are doing on the resale market right now. All right, let's jump into this overview. So this is a Made in USA shoe. You can literally fill this. It's like got weight to it. I'm obsessed with like Made in USA New Balances. You already know because this quality is not able to be beat, I swear. Like this is some of the nicest quality suede that I have seen. On the toe box here, we have some beautiful, just nice soft suede. And we're seeing one of New Balance's signature gray color schemes on the front of this. This collaboration was inspired by Washington DC. So as you have probably known, if you're a fan of Detail R, they have done lots of different collaborations with New Balance and this is definitely just one that maybe doesn't have to do with Greek gods or automobiles and uh, one of the cool things about the shoe is that it came actually with this little postcard here and let me read what it says for years Detail R has dropped exclusive releases to fit your fashion and lifestyle product designer June Sanders is the creative mind behind some of your favorite colorways in collaboration with USA Powerhouse New Balance, June's most compelling designs have made it to you to wear in style. And so this is really cool. So New Balance DC 992 Discover and Celebrate is a Washingtonian. It's funny, I call myself a Washingtonian, but I'm from Washington State. Uh, inspired silhouette designed to culturally represent how impactful DC truly is. Hashtag June made that. Uh, this postcard is really cool because it actually has every single collaboration that Detail R has actually done with New Balance. And you can see that they are not new to doing collabs together. There have been lots of amazing collaborations 
collaborations that were done with June and New Balance. And this is just another great addition that they've added to the collection of collaborations that they have made together. So excited to continue talking about this one. As you can see, it's added right here at the end, but they've done some great stuff here. And then we've got the Washington DC flag there. And on the back, we have this really actually dope comic. It's got bowling and uh, some different New Balance shoes that they've done together. So really cool little artsy addition that they added. And it's uh, in a postmark, postcard kind of thing, even though, I don't know, you can't really send this anywhere, but it says, don't mute DC, 11 exclusives later. Uh, very cool, so creative. I love seeing these collabs, they're extremely creative. This is definitely one of those collabs. So let's get back to the frontal portion of the shoe. So we've got soft suede pigskin overlays and uh, some nice, just shiny mesh. You're gonna see in the styling section of the pictures how much these shoes really reflect with the light. It's actually blinding, it's so powerful. So definitely got some great quality going on this shoe but as we work our way up we're seeing hints of red and they're pulling this red from the Washington DC flag and I think that the red is just so well accented with the black and the grays and as we work our way up we've got just some simplistic black laces which I think is very fitting for this color scheme uh, again we've got some nice new balance in a more kind of metallic -y silver color the 992 here again accented in that red, red color scheme and We've got just a nice suede black tongue. Then when we move our way to the eyelets, you'll see that it's kind of interchanging with black and red undertones here. But I think it's just a nice subtle pop of color that really sets up the upper of the shoe. So let's take a close look at those details. So as we make our way to the side panels, you're gonna again see all of these different materials from the soft suede on the black here. We've got the New Balance and that nice little end form in black and white. Then we've got more of that just nice kind of pigmented grayish metallic silver mesh as well with uh, more kind of sparkly gray on the overlays here. As we work our way back, we've got more of the signature gray suede and we've got the Washington DC flag with the stars and stripes on the back and the red color scheme. Again, more hints of that red accent on the collar. Working our way to the insole, we've got nice simplistic black insoles with New Balance classic in just a white print. As we work our way down to the midsole, it is actually reminiscent of the color scheme of the upper. So again, we've got just nice differentiating accents of this red on the heel here. Again, some more black. Uh, then we've got the New Balance here, which is actually popping quite nicely in the black lettering. Working our way to the outsole, we've got more hints of red and black to finish off the silhouette. So let's take a final look at all of those details.
All right, so let's talk about size and fit. New Balance can be interesting sometimes. A lot of different people have differing opinions saying that you should size down a New Balance, but I actually stuck true to size in a 7.5 on this one, and I think it fits me quite perfectly. Again, I like to wear kind of thicker socks here and there, and I do like to have a little extra space in my shoes. Uh, if I didn't, I would probably size down, but for this, I think seven and a half worked perfectly. Again, I love New Balance because I've got those high arches and they literally just complete my life by giving me that support that's needed. So I'm definitely going to be wearing these shoes a lot this summer because they are absolutely so comfortable, especially for my narrow feet with my high arches. You do have flat feet and they are on the wider side that may differentiate what size works best for you. So do take that into consideration when you're trying to figure out what size will work best for you. All right, now let's move into the styling section. This was such a fun shoe to style. It's got two of my favorite colors, a gray and black. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. Uh, but what I do love about this shoe is how it is so well accented with the red tones. It's very subtle, but to the point where it just kind of pops and gives it just a little something, something, but not too much of a statement, which is great. So I kind of wanted to bring out some more statement of that red color scheme in my first look. So I wore a button down collared dress that was pretty fitted in all red. And I felt like that red just really drew from the red color scheme that popped out in different parts of the shoe. look again I wanted to just you know bring a little red as well by wearing a red blazer um and I don't really wear red a lot but I need to like I need to step out of my comfort zone one of these times and just get away from my all black and dark gray but um I loved wearing this red blazer it was just something fun and different especially as we're moving into the summertime I want to wear more pops of color I wore that red blazer with some nice baggy simple light denim jeans and uh, those are by redone I think light denim just really works well with this color scheme Doing what you can with no cap huh? this is the return of the one you ain't see him coming you just heard drums they've been ready for the battle any person that comes got the weight of the world on them yeah they're too strong I might have been down not out It's on sight, you gon' figure that out And I might have been down not out Only one thing I gotta know now So are you ready for the comeback? Yeah Are you ready for the huh? Are you ready for the comeback? You know we don't want that But uh, I also wanted to give you just a nice simplistic black dress. Obviously, for guys out there, I know that when I wear dresses, you're asking, well, what would a, a guy do? Transfer those colors. So if I'm wearing a red dress or a black dress, I mean, you could pair any type of red accented tees or sweaters into the mix that are kind of in that same red hue. For a black dress, I would also translate that into potentially wearing black denim, a black hoodie, or even just an all over black sweatsuit, which would be great, or black shorts since it's getting a little heated out there with a nice black tee to kind of just really let this shoe be the standout look.
let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you style these shoes? All right, now let's jump into the resale. So these shoes uh, retail at $200, which I think is, you know, it's a good price point for the quality that you're getting. Again, there's American flag actually in the box here because that's made in the USA. That's when you know that this is a quality New Balance shoe. Uh, again, I do think that New Balance isn't getting as much press on some of the shoes that are releasing. I think this one was kind of sliding under the radar. Uh, but it is doing insane for resale right now. But depending on size, it's going from 310 to 525 dollars. So I have honestly not seen a lot of shoes that have kind of doubled or even tripled in the amount that they've retailed at, but New Balance has been doing some insanely good collaborations. And Detail R is known to just really create amazing stories with New Balance. And I think, again, they had another winner. And that's why you're seeing these price points for resale to be quite high. I mean, it's just a high quality shoe and a great brand to partner with. All right, so that's it for this unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel for the first time here with us, be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure also to leave me any comments or questions that you may have down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat that I don't want you to miss out on, as well as check out those membership tiers. We've got some great perks on there for our members, as well as the amazing shade store. Again, for those of you who are interested in participating in my giveaway, I will be giving away some easy easy slides and some supreme pieces. So be sure to stick around and make sure you subscribe because we're going to be posting stuff on the community board about how you'll be able to win a pair of slides or some supreme items. And uh, you'll need to be following, of course, all of my social media channels, including my Instagram platforms. Uh, I do have all of those in the description box on my page. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. And uh, as far as it goes, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next video.